Here we go, I don't know what that is. Shooting on. Target, shoot, not wanted. I've got an assault thing. First thing you do, turn away, away from all the feds, and start boost. Get four pips to your weapons, uh, to your engines, and start boosting. Now they'll stay on that uh, FDL for a while, but if there's a smaller ship, as soon as they finish them, they're going to be after you. So you've got to get clear. If you look on the bottom right, you'll see I'm wanted. And just after I shot him, you saw um, on the destroyed. top uh, assault charge. So I'm, f I'm clear of mass lock now, so I can um, engage my frame shift charge. Cannot comply. Away. Frame shift drive charging. Now the feds are coming towards me now. They know I'm wanted. And Four, I've committed a crime three, and they're after me. Two, but they're too one, far away at the moment. Engage. So that's it, I'm safe now. Now, while I'm wanted, I can't do anything in this system. If I go back there, the feds will be onto me straight away, just like they were with that FDL. So um, I've got to get out of here. So I'm just going to fly away from the planet a bit. You don't have to worry, once you're in Super Cruise, it's very, you'd be very unlucky to get interdicted you got all the time in the world to go to your navigation panel, find the nearest planet, uh, nearest system. There we are, Ceramix, Keramix, I think you call it, not destination. And then just jump. Frame shift drive charging. When I get to, when I, once I've jumped, I'm not wanted anymore over there. But if I come back here, I am which is a bit of a nuisance. But I'll show you something in a minute since we've got there. Four, I'm going to show three, you another mistake as two, well that people make. One, engage. And normally I'd say put your throttle back to zero, but this time I'm going to leave it full open. And pretend I'm distracted. So, um... You know, while I'm trying to figure out what's, a happen, what's happening, I'm going to fly inside that yellow line. It's too close to the, the sun. Hull integrity Bang. compromised. Warning, taking heat damage. Now you can see what's happening. A few sparks. I've taken some damage. If you look at the, the hull, underneath my little side my this is 19 Warning, temperature critical. So the temperature went right up and I burnt a bit because I'm right next to the, the star. So um, we need to figure out where, where it is exactly. It's not sure this one doesn't show on the radar for some reason. I'm just going to sort of point it over. It doesn't make much difference because the speed you're going. Oh, somebody's dropped in. System authority. No, I'm, oh, I'm not wanted anymore. So he, he won't bother me. He'd just be wondering what I'm doing here. Scan detected. He's scanning me. I'm not wanted here, so I should be alright. So if I got scanned in the the other system in Brani, I find I'm wanted, and you just immediately open fire. So to scan finish, be about your business. So he's, he'll be on his way now. Right now, uh, we have to wait for the frame shift drive to cool down, which it's just done. Uh, there's a little symbol down on the very very bottom right, but it's gone now because. Uh, it's, it's cooled down. But while you're waiting for it to cool down, what you can do, if you go to your modules, and switch off all the things you don't need. You need your thrusters, that's what keeps you going. Shield generator, we don't need just now. Shields offline. Cargo hatch, we don't need. Lasers, we don't need. You just um, click them twice and they go off. Click them once, I think they go off. Yeah. Both twice. Um, we, we can't switch off the power distributor because that's part of our vital systems. Same with life support, we won't get oxygen. Frame shift drive, we're going to need to get out of here. Sensors, we're going to need to see where we're going. Cockpit canopy, we need. Power plant, we need. So we, we've switched off all the things we didn't need. And then, when you um, jump out, you engage your frame shift drive. Frame shift drive. And it gives you the escape vector, which is at right angles to the planet. So you just point at that. Four. If you look Three, at the temperature two, on the uh, 11 o'clock on the radar, 
See how hot it goes. 85, 87. And that's it. You've got to get up to about 95 before you start taking damage. A bit 98, something like that. But although we've got a bit of smoke, no, no further damage. So we can switch those modules back on again now. Because the more modules you switch off, the cooler you run. And so the less damage you take when you come out of there. If we'd have just come straight out, we'd have probably gone over 100 and you'd see more sparks and firing. And when you look at your um, modules, if you look on the very right hand side, you see percentages. So we, we lost a few percent when we burnt going into the star and bashed into it. But um, we didn't take any more when we came out. But what happens if, if you leave all your modules on, then uh, you heat up more and you take a lot more damage coming out. Especially if you're in a big ship and um, you've got it all engineered and, and you're running quite hot anyway. You know, you'll take a lot of damage coming out from the star. But doing it this way, switching off all the things you don't want, you stay a lot cooler. Uh, later in the game, there's heat sinks as well that cool you down. There's a few different ways of doing it, but just for, for now. It's always worth bearing that in mind, especially when you're out exploring, when you're miles from anywhere and you fall into a star, and there's no, no way of getting it repaired. So each time you do that, you lose a few percent. And, you know, it can be like, if you're really far out, it can be five days before you get back, going continuously before you can get a repair. And on the way, you can crash more. So it's um, the less damage you take, the better. So just remember that you can always switch things off and it, it saves a little bit of damage. Right, so now I'm going to look on my transactions tab. And you'll see under bounties, we got a 400 credit bounty in Drani. That was for shooting the guy before uh, we, s we saw that he was wanted. So it's no death sentence. This is just a tiny bit of inconvenience. It's like a timeout card the ref's showing you. You know, you've done something wrong. You've got to run off the field for a bit and wait. And then you can come back again. And on the, um, the right-hand side of that, that yellow bit, it says 0 hours, 3 minutes. Well, that's the time before we can go back to Brani. So what you could do if you were bored, you've got to wait 8 minutes altogether. We've, we've done a few already. You could have gone to the nav beacon in this system when you came to the star instead of crashing into it and shot a few bad guys there. Like It's a bit like the res. The fe there's feds there and um, they come and help you. So there's not as many bad guys there as there is in the res but um, you, you often get a couple before you have to go back so it's not completely wasted time so we have to keep checking it two minutes so we can line up with uh, Brani now so we go to navigation select Brani see where it is this way can't do anything yet. We have to watch the, time, the timer, so maybe the transaction. I think that it's sensitive. Right, one minute to go. So that's one thing. Now, we were pretty quick to get out of there, and it was an FDL, which takes a fair bit of beating, even though there was about three anacondas and God knows how many vipers on it. Um, if he dies while he's on your radar, you get a murder bounty. And then when you look at that timer, it'll say seven days or more. And then you can't wait and go back. You've got to wait a week before you go back. So what that means is instead of going back to Brani, you've got to find another system. So in that case, from here, I can tell you the nearest one is Afra. So you open up your galaxy map. We could, we could do that now, but... Um, not, I don't think I will. Uh, so if we go to Afra and open up their system map, you can see there's um, more ring planets and there's good bounty hunting in there. So you can navigate to there. And um, yeah, even with this eight minute one, you could go straight there. And then when you get a bounty there, come straight back to Brani. That you know might save you a couple of minutes. But um, at Afra, there's uh, good bounty hunting as well. So, naught minutes. You can't go on even on naught minutes. It has to show 
H jump. Sorry for saying H, huh, but it's just to make it clear. H dash jump. And you'll see that in a minute. I'm not too sure. Oh, there it goes. On H jump. So once you see that on H jump, you're clear to go back. The, the bounty's expired. Then I go back there now. I'm not wanted anymore. So that's uh, pretty good. So we just do the jump. So we've done falling into the star. We've done shooting the feds. Um, Four, three, so what we do is a more serious two, shoot to the feds. One, beam laser. Let's see what happens. So I'll probably get blown up in that one. I'm going to go to the nearest station to repair that damage that I did in the star. That's a wood hub. Around that yellow ring thing. This one. There. Oops. Not inside it. That ring. We mustn't go inside it. Unless we get what we had before. When you're flying away from these stars, you get a lot of um, gravity. That means you accelerate very quickly once you get clear. So I'll plant it in the blue zone now. Throttle that is. It's always the opposite way to what you think. So here we do, coming in at right angles to that ring that the station's on. So coming in from halfway between the planet and the station. Still in the blue zone, so we can just cruise in. Right, straight line, disengage. Things in the boost. This still gets us that first couple of kilometers. Delacy, Delta, Agent Victor. This oh, port is under federal control. Submit to randomized security scans on approach. Yeah, Access Make your way to landing pad number scans. two one. On the way in. So if we'd have been wanted, they'd have found out that we were wanted and then they'd all the station would start shooting us. So there is a way of dealing with it as as for something else. Basically you've got to go in like straight and quick. And uh, you can get in so if they scan us if they go a bit quicker. You know, over the speed limit at the moment. So even going at that speed up, they didn't get a chance to scan me. So I'm on 20. So that is useful, you know, and it's not the end of the world when you get a bounty. You can still go back. It's just this risk of um, being scanned and then when they find out you're wanted, they'll shoot you. So landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. Strange controls and that, but you won't have it, so it makes it a bit tricky that last bit. I've got no yaw spring and no center of my throttle. So you it's, may it's diff ready. difficult to Welcome stop to above the station, the Commander. So we can oh, uh, do our repairs. No ammo to restock. Repair all. Might as well refuel. And I've got a little bit of bounty. Oh. When you click on contacts, you'll see here the fines that uh, you got, and you can pay them off now. now. If you don't pay them off, 
I think it's after a week, they become a bounty on you again. So um, oh, I think these ones disappear. But if you got a fine for smuggling, carrying stuff that you shouldn't have done, the, f the fine turns into a bounty. So bounties turn into fines, and fines turn into bounties. So when you've got a bounty on you, um, you know, people come and chase you for it. So best not to have it. But always pay off your fines if you can. With, uh, you get you get a fair time. Uh, I think it's a week. But anyway, let's pay it off. Claim our reward. Got a billion now. Incoming message. That's basic sidewinder. That's because I'm a different commander now. I'm playing in the beta. If you're wondering. Right. So.